right, in this video, we're gonna show you how to drill holes for your frame of your car so that you have axles that your dowel rods can run through and then your wheels can turn. So um, for this, you're gonna need your two paint sticks to act as the frame of your car. Um, you're gonna need one of your dowel rods so that you can kind of use that for the thickness of your um, axle holes that you need and know what hole hole sizes you need to drill. Um, you need a various set of um, different bits that you can use. Um, it helps to have a permanent marker or a pencil, something that you can mark and label with, some tape, um, your drill, and then don't forget your safety goggles. So I'm going to put the safety goggles on and show you that um, to prep this, we are going to first tape together our, um, our paint sticks so that as we drill through them, they don't kind of shift and so that the holes are aligned um, as that. So I'm just gonna tightly wrap a piece of tape around it and I'm gonna do that on both ends of my paint sticks. And that's all I'm using my tape for. Okay. So now I can see that these paint sticks are aligned. They're not gonna shift or move around as I'm drilling through them. So then you want your pencil or your marker um, to mark a couple different things. You might wanna mark where your holes are gonna be drilled. So I'm just gonna draw a dot on each end where I want to drill my holes just to kind of guide that and I also kind of like to draw um, a line on the side this will help as you pull these two paint sticks apart um, you can help realign them so that it, you don't flip them or shift them as you're trying to glue your frame together so that will be helpful later on in your project so now this is prepared uh, now you need to choose your bit that you're going to use uh, most of you are probably using 5 16th size dowel rods. Um, with that, we usually recommend like the, the 3 8 bit um, or maybe the half inch one, but that one might be a little large. Um, the 3 8 works really well. If you have a different size bit, all you really want to do is just kind of hold them side by side um, and kind of look at the sizes. You want one that's just slightly bigger than your dowel rod because you want your dowel rod to loosely turn through the holes that you're making in your paint sticks. So I'm gonna use the 3 eighths for this one. I'm gonna kind of clear my work area. Okay, you want a surface that you can um, drill on easily. All right, so we have our work area ready to go. Um, I have the dots ready and marked. Um, I need to put the bit into the drill. So if you're not familiar with it, um, you kind of turn the um, front of the drill so that the opening, you can kind of see as I turn it different ways, um, it tightens and gets smaller. Um, I'm just going to open it and then kind of turn it so that it closes and holds the bit tight. So turn it so that this is not loose in the end. Um, be careful when you're drilling. Um, you'll want to put pressure on whatever you're drilling so that it doesn't swing around. If you're not holding whatever you're drilling, it's just gonna spin in circles with the drill as the drill spins and that's very dangerous. So make sure that um, you have one hand really holding down um, the wood pieces that you're drilling and then just kind of line it up with wherever you wanted your holes drilled. Start slower and then you can just drill through. So this sometimes happens where it looks like it's not drilling very far and it might be because um, it's on reverse or something. So just make sure that um, you click through and make sure you have the forward drill and then just keep kind of drilling through. Okay, 
So now you can see that we have a hole drilled through both sides. I'm gonna turn it around and do that with the other one. Now you can see we have um, our paint stick with both of our axle holes drilled through. So now when you take the tape off, um, you can separate your paint sticks and look at how you are going to attach everything for your project. So you can kind of separate them and then if they get mixed up, you know, okay, I can just reline it up with um, the lines that I created so that the holes are aligned. That's how you would drill your axles. Um, also, when you're done, um, be careful when you are holding the drill bit, the very point of it, because there was a lot of friction moving through um, the sticks that you drilled, um, the tip of it's going to be very hot. So when you go to take it out, um, just be careful, loosen it up. Um, and then be careful not to touch the very tip of it because that's going to be very hot. So then you wanna make sure that you clean up your work area, um, make sure that your name's on all of your supplies, and then prepare it so that the next group is ready to go and has a clean workspace to work on.